Hey guys, Pro 1701 here, and today on Face Off, we are going to be asking the question, which do you like better, The Five Doctors or Day of the Doctor? So, two multi-doctor stories going head to head. Now, I enjoy both stories, and if I had to pick which one has like the coolest little moment in it, it would probably be Day of the Doctor, because I do love the scene when all the doctors say Gallifrey, and I do love the scene when the doctor meets the curator. Those are two of my favorite scenes in all of Doctor Who. That being said, judging the stories as a whole, I do prefer The Five Doctors. Uh, a lot of it boils down to the fact that when I'm watching Day of the Doctor, I tend to fast forward through parts. <clears throat> like, it's, I very rarely do I just sit through the whole thing. I usually, there are parts I'm just kind of, eh, skip a little head here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whereas in The Five Doctors, since it's also, you know, kind of one long movie instead of being multiple parts like typical classic Who... <clears throat> I tend to sit down and just watch all of it. Um, I don't usually have to fast forward through anything. I really like it. Uh, also, I love the fact it treats the first Doctor really well. I really think Richard Herndl does not get enough credit as the first Doctor. I think he is phenomenal as the first Doctor. I actually prefer him as the first Doctor over David Bradley as the first Doctor, but that's another whole video. Uh, he is written really well in this. Uh, he really feels like the first Doctor. He, he has that respect from the other Doctors that I feel like the first Doctors do, much like in the three Doctors. I love that line Richard Herndl does where he goes, well, when he's talking to Tegan and she asks, you know, well, who might you be? And he goes, I might happen to be any number of things. I happen to be the Doctor. The original, you might say. The way he says that line with such authority, he just commands attention, commands the room, commands respect. Again, he has such authority in the way he delivers his lines. He feels very much like the first Doctor. <clears throat> that line, that little part right there, is one of my favorite first Doctor moments, even though it's not Hartnell. It's one of my favorite first Doctor moments. <clears throat> of course, this was also my first experience with the first Doctor. The first time I ever saw the first Doctor was in The Five Doctors, so I am was more familiar with Herndl's First Doctor than I was Hartnell's First Doctor. Um, <clears throat> and having seen more of Hartnell's work, I feel like Herndl... H Herndl feels more like Hartnell as the First Doctor than Bradley does, to be honest. Uh, also, I feel like The Five Doctors beats um, Day of the Doctor because it has Troughton. I mean, it has Troughton. It, it, it's it's kind of hard to... It, it, it's it's kind of hard to go for Day of the Doctor. No, not not enough Troughton. Only in a little you know clip at the end. And I love me some Troughton. It also has Pertwee. I love me some Pertwee. And I like how they utilized having Tom Baker show up with the footage from Shada. Because when I first saw the Five Doctors, I didn't know about Shada and all that. I you know I just kind of assumed well Tom Baker's schedule was busy. They only had him for a day of filming. I figured I had always thought growing up he had filmed that for the special. He just was only able to film a little bit because maybe he had other stuff going on. So I think growing up in the 80s and 90s, Shada works really, that little scene of him from Shada to kind of have him in the Five Doctors works because he is there for a little bit. At least he's included. He has a little bit of funny moments. <coughs> and why he's not in it more is written well into the story. It's only now in today's world when I know about Shada and I've seen Shada where that part rings a little hollow and saw they were having to just be clever. It, it definitely worked better then than it does now. Uh, but it, at least he's there. Of course, he's also in Day of the Doctor. I like Day of the Doctor. I think Matt Smith and David Tennant's Doctors have really good chemistry together. I like how well they get along. They have some really amusing moments. I like the War Doctor. It's John Hurt, after all. I love me some John Hurt. Um, <clears throat> but, but just a lot of it feels filler. It does feel more like a celebration of modern Who with a couple nods to classic Who, whereas the five Doctors felt like a celebration of 20 years of Doctor Who, like it was encompassing everything. We had the brief little scene with the Dalek. We even had a Yeti show up briefly. The Cybermen were utilized well. The Master was utilized well. I love the fact that the Master actually had good intentions. And the only reason he turned on him at the end was because he was frustrated that the doctor wouldn't trust him, which is understandable in my opinion. I like the fact that he actually was trying to help the doctor. <laughs> and the doctor was like, eh, I don't believe you. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I enjoyed seeing Sarah back. I like seeing more of Sarah in the third doctor because 
I've only seen two of the stories from season 11, so I don't have a lot of the third Doctor with Sarah to go by. So it's nice that I get a little more time with them <clears throat> in the five Doctors <clears throat> to see how they interact. It's nice seeing more of the second Doctor with the Brigadier, too. Because I always thought the Brigadier and the second Doctor got on better than the Brigadier and the third Doctor, honestly. Uh, the second Doctor and the Brigadier don't really clash a lot. I like that. Uh, so yeah, I enjoy that. Plus, I just like the story. I love, you know, the the villain being Barusa, where you know Barusa, of course, had been in several other episodes when he had been a good guy, a mentor to the Doctor, a friend to the Doctor, someone who'd assisted the Doctor. So I think that's actually a really good twist, having him be the villain. If you're familiar with Doctor Who lore and familiar with the character, I think that was really well done. And I like the the lesson that, you know, eternal life is a curse, not a blessing. I enjoy all of that. And I love the fact it's the first Doctor who figures it out. He who wins shall lose, and he he who loses wins, and he who wins shall lose. I like the fact it's the first Doctor that had that figured out. Seems appropriate. So between the two, while I like both, I do prefer the five Doctors. And um, y'all seem to agree, actually. Um, in the face-off poll... Which, it's not as close. I figured it would be closer. But then again, I figure, I, I guess a lot of my fan base probably are Classic Who fans, since I tend to do more Classic Who videos than Modern Who videos. I really do need to do, like, just a week of Modern Who videos to, to catch up. But the poll had 171 votes, and 55% voted for the Five Doctors, 35% voted for Day of the Doctor, with 10% saying, Prowl, you ask the hard questions, I can't decide. So a little over half voting for the five doctors. Let's see. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's look at some of y'all's comments. Michael says, The five doctors felt like a true anniversary special. Day of the Doctor felt like a celebration of New Who with a few classic Who Easter eggs and cameos. I agree. And he says, I knew Moffat would screw it up. I don't feel like Moffat screwed it up, but I do agree with your assertion uh, about how you know the five doctors does feel like a celebration of Who. Whereas Day of the Doctor feels like a celebration of modern who. Uh, Henry says, another great face-off. Both stories are great, but Day of the Doctor, wow. What it is and what it does is so very important. Agreed. It does do a, a lot of important stuff for the canon that, of course, Chipnell kind of went back and crapped all over. But that's kind of Chipnell's thing. H.G. Wells says, just got a hold of a massive 3D telly and finally been able to watch Day of the Doctor in its original 3D after refusing to rewatch for years. Not until the Blu-ray, not until the Blu-ray could ST last be unwrapped. It didn't disappoint. Amazing. Big fan of the War Doctor thanks to Big Finish anyway. The Five Doctors, not so much. It's just not good by comparison with the Three Doctors and everything. I don't want the 60th anniversary special to be. And I will agree, I prefer the Three Doctors over the Five Doctors. The Three Doctors is my favorite multi-doctor story. <clears throat> Troutin. Gotta love Troutin. Uh, Bananas are good set. A lot more characters return for the Five Doctors and a mix of villains. Therefore, in my mind, it made it better than Day of the Doctor. Seemed a lot more celebratory. I really wish Paul McGann had the role that John Hurt had in the 50th. Would have made it so much better. I would have enjoyed that as well, as much as I loved uh, Night of the Doctor. If I rewatch the 50th, I tend to skip most parts that don't have the multi-doctors. That says a lot. I do that too, actually. Again, I do a lot of fast-forwarding. It's just... It's just like Earth after a thunderstorm. Funny that, Janet, because it is. I don't remember that. It's just like Earth after a thunderstorm. I'm not sure what that quote's for. For From Project Boredom says, As I am making this comment, they are tied at 47% with the third option being at 6. My personal pick is The Five Doctors because that was one of the first DVDs I bought. It's also one of the first Doctor Who stories I saw and have earliest memories of. And it's the one I remember seeing the most when I was little. Like, a lot of the others I've talked about, I only got to see once or twice. But I probably saw The Five Doctors at least half a dozen times growing up. They showed it a lot. <clears throat> uh, Edward says, Previously, I would have said The Five Doctors, but I recently rewatched Day of the Doctor and liked it more. So I have to with that one. But both are S-tier in my opinion. Fair enough. One of my fellow uh, Hootubers, Paul, who is doing a great series of ranking videos, ranking Doctor Who by season. Uh, he's ranking modern and classic Who from worst to best. I think he does like one video a week on it, ranking the seasons. A really good video series that I need to get caught up on. Luckily, he's got them in a playlist. I need to get, I need to catch up on that. He does some really good Doctor Who content. 
uh, Paul Bailey, he says, The Five Doctors all the way as it celebrated 20 years of the show. Day of the Doctors feels like a celebration just to New Who. Uh, if they had all the Doctors in s s instead of No Sir All 13th, I think people would have loved it a lot more. And more of the classic Doctors would have been nice. And I hope the 60th brings some classic back. I think that that short with McCoy for season 24 really proves he's still got it. Uh, Shamrock says, Day of the Doctor has Tom Baker in a cameo and some typical modern Who stunt work set on Earth that feels contrived for its own stake and feels too new Who centric. Agreed. Uh, the Five Doctors is more encompassing, has a great twist for Barusa. Rassilon is a villain that is, yet isn't, yet is... Mm. All the Doctors get some proper moments with none overshadowing. There's a Raster Warrior robot shish kebabbing the Cybermen. I do love that. Even if the Raster robot's not designed that well. It looks terrible. Probably has more plot holes than a Cyber Regiment, though. <laughs> yeah. My vote is for the five Doctors. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how the second Doctor in the five Doctors knows about how he figures out Jamie and Zoe are phantoms. And the reason he figures this out is because he knows the Time Lords wipe their memory before he returns into a proper time. But that happens at the end of the War Games. To me, that more than anything proves the Season 6B theory because obviously this for the second Doctor takes place after War Games. It has to or he wouldn't have that memory. Plot holes for sure. Uh, problem being says the five Doctors can never be bettered. Uh, the, the three Doctors next and then Day of the Doctor. Tom Baker's cameo was of course the highlight. Without Tom, it wouldn't have been as special as it was. Agree with the comment that Paul McGann should have been in it. Yeah. Personally, I like three Doctors better than five, but they're both really good. And Phil Owen says, The five Doctors doesn't pretend to be a great story, but it does exactly what it's meant to. Celebrate the show's past. Day of the Doctor, again, not a great story. Hardly celebrates the past at all and features the ill-conceived and poorly executed character of the War Doctor. My pick for the single most pointless character in Doctor Who history. I don't know if I'd go that far. But um, but I definitely prefer Five Doctors as well. So that is what you guys thought. Uh, nice to see the poll uh, with the Five. I, I enjoyed seeing the Five Doctors win. Not Again, not surprising. I think a lot of my fan base does have a lot of the older Classic Who fans in it because I do more Classic Who videos. Um, so I guess that shouldn't surprise me. And, and again, it's only 171 votes. Not really a lot you know, compared to a lot of the bigger channels. But uh, I did enjoy seeing the results and... Uh, and I agree with him. I agree with him. I do prefer the five doctors. So I appreciate you watching this video. If while you're here, if you're a frequent viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate you go ahead and clicking that subscribe button. That helps me out with the YouTuber al the YouTube algorithm. Also, I am trying to get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. We are on our way there. I think I'm at 7:30 now. So that every little bit helps there. I certainly appreciate that. I also have a Patreon. If you would like to support me that way, there's a link to that down in the description below. I do do at least one exclusive video a week just for my patrons uh, at the $10 tier and up. I also have a P.O. Box if there's anything you would like to see me down in the, send me. That's down in the description. I have a link to my Amazon wish list, which I update regularly with Doctor Who stuff and non-Doctor Who stuff as well. Like I have a Quater Mass in the Pit on there. I've been wanting to see that since it's such an influence on Doctor Who. I also have uh, a link to my Amazon UK wish list as well with a couple of the still books on it. Um, but most importantly, thank you for watching.